Geert Lovink is a Dutch Australian media theorist and critic. Lovink is the founding director of the Institute of Network Cultures, whose goals are to explore, document, and feed the potential for socio economic change of the new media field through events, publications, and open dialogue. As theorist, activist, and net critic, Lovick has made an effort in helping to shape the development of the web. I do not agree. I don't believe in identity and um, uh, try as much as I can to become uh, many persons. I think after a phase of um, excitement, the mobile uh, devices that we carry with us uh, are rapidly uh, disappearing in the background. Uh, we still uh, carry them uh, around with us, but uh, it, is, uh, it is their uh, characteristic that uh, they do not uh, seek a lot of attention. I'm quite positive that mobile devices will uh, become pervasive, they will become omnipresent, they become ubiquitous, and precisely because of that, they will also become um, more invisible, and hopefully we can you know, master them um, over time so that they can become truly uh, um, uh, tools as they were originally um, you know, designed for and not uh, very uh, dominating information environments. Invisibility is, uh, is the destiny of uh, mobile devices. Then it's our task you know, to deconstruct the architectures of these uh, technologies uh, and uh, explain uh, the potential but also the limitations of its uh, software and its, uh, and its algorithms. Uh, because uh, if it's becoming invisible, uh, it will even more so uh, rule our lives without us really noticing. The future of uh, mobile for me means that uh, uh, people uh, will less and less uh, you know, be able to experience that they have all these um, devices with them they will forget them. The mobile the devices will become smaller and smaller and will, they will disappear. With the mobile phone, I believe that the true potential is still uh, in many-to-many real-time communication. Uh, and and um, social networks on the mobile phones are an indication of where it's going. But the problem, of course, with social networks as we know them right now is that they are very limited. Twitter and Facebook have very, very limited commercial um, objectives. They are not there to facilitate you know, social and pro pro political processes. Unlike us, is a, is a network of around uh, 700 artists, activists, uh, programmers, researchers across the globe who are actively looking for alternatives in social media. It's important to uh, state that, uh, you know, it is one thing to complain about uh, Facebook and Twitter, that they dominate uh, our daily life and uh, that they take away our data and uh, invade our privacy. But uh, it is much more interesting to, uh, to come together and say, well, you know, how would we like to uh, design the web in an alternative way? Um, how, can, how do we want to communicate in the future? And this is, this is really uh, the question. Unlike us, uh, is trying to bring together the people who are uh, developing alternatives in this, uh, in this field. 
And um, we're trying to do that uh, in, in a way that we uh, look at the future uh, protocols uh, under which p uh, people uh, communicate. So it's not our goal to uh, develop the next uh, uh, you know, Facebook or something like that, or, uh, or even to compete with these companies. No, what we want is to have a complete different architecture of the web and the mobile sphere altogether. The time we spend uh, with these uh, with these the devices, um, you know, we could say, well, in the past we we would have uh, spent them, uh, you know, with friends in 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 a cafe, or uh, we be, we've become overall more uh, efficient. Huh? But uh, I don't think that, for instance, it, it has not led to, uh, for instance, a reduction in work time. And uh, this is what uh, was often predicted, uh, that we would work less. Well, in fact, you know, uh, statistics show that we work more and that we do more and that we are uh, more uh, efficient. Uh, but that doesn't mean, uh, you know, that we have more time. Every discussion that gets out of hand uh, can be picked up immediately uh, by others. Uh, so there is this snowball effect. And, and that effect is what makes these uh, comments and this new uh, comment culture uh, potentially dangerous. It's dangerous for the powers to be. Sometimes it's also dangerous for uh, participants uh, when uh, somebody just says something uh, and finds out that a few hours later he or she is losing her job uh, because uh, the boss found out uh, about this uh, comment. The real philosopher of the uh, mobile uh, devices for me is the French philosopher uh, Paul Virilio. Uh, and, um, he always talks about this polar inertia, as he calls it, you know, where we go so fast and communicate with uh, the speed of light uh, that we come to an absolute hold where we no longer move ourselves just uh, because of the speed uh, of uh, communication. We no longer watch uh, film, we watch uh, databases.